So today we're going to be revisiting a challenge that I failed, and it was the Rule 5 Draft Challenge, where I can only build a team through the Rule 5 Draft. So yeah, can't be failing challenges here. So let's retry it. All right, so Rule 5 Draft. We only have zero overall players in the team currently, and I definitely need some players. I can only take players from here. I can't sign free agents. I can't draft players from the, the prospect draft, the, fir the, uh, the first year player draft. I can't make trades only through this process right here so i'm trying to see like who we could get and realistically there's not a lot that's like catching my eye i've, I've kind of already looked through it a little bit and it, it's not great like this this could be decent i'm i'm actually kind of interested in melendez now that, that might be a smart that might be a smart one because I think if we're going to try to do this as quickly as possible, I want to do this in under five seasons. I want to see if we can do it in five years where we can win a World Series with only Rule 5 draft players. So how are we going to do this? I think we got to get players that we can win with immediately. So do I go bullpen immediately or do I maybe try to snag a pitcher or like a starting pitcher? I, I think we let's let's get the bullpen. Let's get the bullpen going. Let's ah, let's go Brandon Waddle or Waddell, whatever it is. All right, so I have quite a few picks. I need 26. I got to fill out the whole roster. So I am going to start picking up some of these bullpen arms because I know they're going to start to get taken. And actually, they they, they they might not be. Okay, we might we might be we might be in business. Hunter Wood get in the team. That's pretty solid, too. So two relievers, a starter. We still need a bunch of players. So realistically, without me showing you every single pick that I go through because it's 26 picks, I'll show you guys the team in a bit. All right, so it seems... I didn't get rid of enough players off the 40 man, which puts us in a little bit of an issue because I only got 23 players. Luckily, I got enough pitchers, so that that could be okay. So what I'm going to do here is, I guess, get to the regular season and see what happens. All right, regular season, 23 picks. We got 23 picks. Let me show you what we're working with. This is what we have. Boom. Um, yeah, it's not great. And so like this is this is my thought process so actually it might just be easier to do this we go to the roster and you can kind of see if we sort by potential here let's just sort it um let's get past these because these aren't going to be players we're using but i need to get to like the b because i didn't get any a potential guys we need to get to the the b's where's the b's all right so what i was thinking is let's get a couple position players let's get a couple pitchers that have b potential but are still fairly young because then i know they will develop over the next few years and then when I went to the C potential players, what I was trying to do was try to find players who were still kind of in their low 70s, high 60s, and still fairly young because I know at least with C potential, they'll at least make it into the 70s, maybe the mid, maybe the high 70s, and we'll still have players progressing and developing over time. We do get to use the Rule 5 draft every single year, so maybe we'll get lucky and we'll be able to snag maybe like three players maybe four or five if we're lucky that can improve the team but realistically we really need to work with this base and hope that we get really lucky and then hope that we get lucky in the rule five draft moving forward otherwise we're screwed because this team is not going to win a world series so overall we'll show the depth chart we'll talk about what we've got going on here and this is this is what we have we have dickerson in left mangum in center right field we have walner and then our infield consists of Keyboom, Robertson, Andy Young, and Ivan Melendez or Ivan Melendez. Our DH is Bobby Bradley. Our catcher is John Hicks and Gavin Collins. And then our starters of Waddell, Sanga, Burroughs, Schmidt, and Justin Dunn, along with our bullpen of Devensky, Crichton, or Crichton. It might be Crichton. Norris Wood, Perdomo, Berger, Gavin, and Winder. Overall, it's not it's not terrible. I think I think we'll be able to at least not be the worst team in baseball fingers crossed but yeah i went with the extra pitcher because i felt like our our pitchers are going to be used a lot that that's my team that's my thought process so yeah let's do it all right we just got past the all-star break and i want to see who is our all-star this year and it is i don't see anybody who is it who is our who's our all-star we gotta have one dickerson dickerson is our all-star who's hitting 240 that's that's not what you want to see we're currently 27 and 71 that has that ha that just has to be the worst team in baseball and it's not even going to be close oh uh, we're we're pretty bad huh 
I'm not going to do this every single year. I think I'm just going to do this the first one just to give you guys an idea of like where we're currently at. So we're get, we're going to need some luck. We're going to need a lot of luck. Pitching wise, yeah, it's it's gross. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. There's actually a couple decent ones. Okay. It might not be as bad. It might not be as bad, but yeah. 27 wins, not impressive. So yeah, 46 and 116. Is that the worst in baseball history? It can't be, right? Okay, in the modern era, it is not. The 1916 Philadelphia Athletics won 36 games. But if we're looking towards like more like more recent times, the 2003 Tigers went 43 and 119. Three games better. There we go. So team ranking wise, I'm assuming we're going to be at the bottom. Makes sense, right? Like we're we're a bad team. Runs wise, only 30 less than the Nationals. And then if you go to 28th place, we're 100, 100 short of uh, everybody else. So between us and the Nationals, it's pretty clear we're 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 there. We're, we're at the bottom. So <laughs> to get to the next step of not being the worst team, we're not too far away. But to get to like acceptable level, we're pretty far away. We're we're a pretty bad team. We're yeah, we're we're way down there compared to other teams, which is just not what you want to see. Awards wise, we have a rookie of the year, Kramer Robertson. I'll take that. An award. I was not expecting an award right off the rip. That's good to see. So now, huh? We're we're gonna need some work. We're gonna need a lot of work. He hit 238 and he was rookie of the year. That's that's what we're rocking with. Mm, okay all right let's take let's let's just see how the team did as a whole Can, is there anybody that like i feel like we really need to just not use moving forward and the good thing about this is if these players don't do well i can put them in triple a moving forward and we can kind of store them let them develop and then use them in a couple seasons if that is the case and that way we could just replace them with a, a new rule five pick because like some of these players, I don't necessarily want to get rid of. I think some of these guys could be good in a season or two. We just may have picked them a little bit too early. Chris Devensky, I might need to replace him. Same with him. This might be a guy that needs to be replaced. But then when you take a look at some of our youngsters, the one I'm like kind of thinking about holding on to a little bit, Walner. I think he could be good in a couple seasons. Melendez, I think he's going to be really good in a couple seasons. So there's a couple players that I think maybe give him a couple years in the minors. We'll be okay. Um, yeah, Gavin Collins. Uh, not good. Not good. What do we have here? Is there anybody that was like respectable where I'm like, you know what? We can work with that. Dickerson. I guess we could work with that. Is he still going up? He is a little bit. I think we could we could work with that. He went to D potential. E okay. Melendez honestly wasn't wasn't bad at all. I'm actually pretty happy with that overall. Um Key Boone's on base percentage is, is, is okay. Robertson's on base percentage is where he really thrived. He had almost 100 walks. That's huge. Okay, that's good to see. That's good to see. Anybody else? Not really. So we're we're in a little bit of trouble. Off-season-wise, let's see who wins the World Series for Season 1. The Braves defeat the Astros in the 2023 World Series. And now let's just get to that Rule 5 draft. All right, so I should have showed you the roster before... We actually hopped into this, but it works out because you can kind of see what we're working with here. So the only player that I didn't bring back was uh, the reliever, Devensky. And there was another guy that I didn't bring back. I think it was my backup catcher. It was my backup catcher. And I, there might have been somebody else as well. Oh, Young. Young did not get brought back. But for the most part, I, I did try to bring back most of the guys because I thought we could actually use them. So I, I definitely am looking for some way to strengthen this bolt or the starting rotation. It isn't going to happen based on what I'm seeing here. Yeah. Bullpen. I was kind of hoping we could get another arm or two. And it looks like I, I definitely can. Foster is a great pickup. I know he's going to be good in a couple years. Miguel Castro, I think, could be pretty solid for us, too, for a couple seasons. I'm trying to see if there's anybody else. There, there probably is. So I think we'll be good there. Catcher. A backup. If we can get a backup, I think we'd be all right there. I don't think John Hicks is going to be terrible for one more season. I think we can get one more year out of him. First base. I think maybe put Melendez in the minors for a season, and then maybe we pick up somebody like a Rowdy Telez and see how that goes. Second base, definitely need somebody or a shortstop or a third baseman. Basically, whatever I can get, let's try to get somebody. And I'm seeing a couple players that where I'm a, I'm a little interested in. 
I'm, I'm starting to see some names. I'm seeing some names I'm, I'm, I'm going to like. I'm going to like. Okay, let's let's see what we can pick up. I think looking at the available options here, I think Gasselman could be pretty decent or he's going to be absolutely terrible. It's one of the two with him. Cody Whitley could be pretty good. Spencer Howard, I don't have the best of luck with, but I'd be interested in that too. So let's... I think we got to be really smart here. I, I feel like... I'm not liking this. I think at 30 years old, we'll probably only get like a year or two. May, maybe Whitley. I think maybe Whitley. Maybe Howard. But the one that I'm I'm, I'm kind of liking is Matt Foster. I think at 74 overall, that's just too good to pass up. I think we got to go with it. All right, I got to go Roddy Telez. I feel like that's just too good of a player to pass up. Like that that would be a dumb move, right? Um, And I think we were looking at it. I guess Whitley is still available. And I feel like he definitely is a little bit better than what we have, right? Who would he... Honest, honestly, though, is it? Who would he replace? Norris, I guess. But, like, I feel like... I feel like a reliever isn't, isn't the biggest concern. I feel like starter is, and there are no good starters. That's a big issue. Outfield was also an issue. Hmm... I feel like I got I got to start stacking some of these players. Like, is he going to be good? I think Willie Vasquez could be a really good pickup. Johan Rojas, the defense, that's really all he's got. Uh, Miguel Amaya as a catcher? We could start him over Hicks and then just hope he gets good. That, that could be a move. Ooh. Okay, so there's actually some names that I just, like, completely missed. Like, Nick Lofton, he could be pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go with. You know what? Yeah, I hold on. We let's get a Maya. Let's get that backup catcher or the new starter, I should say. And then I think there was a couple other position players where I'm like, yeah, let's go and snag them up. It wasn't a first baseman. It was it was that center fielder, right? What was his name? Nick Lofton. Yeah, let's get him in. And then there's one more. There's one more B potential guy, and I think that should do it. Who was it? It was it was a young a younger player. Who's this? Oh, 57 overall. No. It was a, it was Willie Vasquez. I just think the, the stats are too low. And I feel like if we're trying to win immediately, we need to get guys who are going to help us out. I guess Stevenson, I guess we, we take a shot with him. Chris Flexen as a starter though. I think Chris Flexen as a starter is a move. And then we take Stevenson and we call it, we call it a day. Call it a day. This, okay, we might, we might be, we might be okay. We might be okay. But I think that's it for now. All right, season two. We made those changes and we're still a little short. I definitely could have added some more players to fill out the full roster. And um, I am going to need to start signing players to fill out the minor league roster. And when I do that, they're going to be like, what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sign like these players down here. I don't need to do it right now. But if you start to see players like this rating in the team, it's because I need to fill out the minor league roster because a lot of these guys who are six, seven, eight overalls are starting to retire at the end of the year. So my my uh, minor league team is starting to get a little thin so yeah that that's that that's basically what's going on there is no player that um we used last year in the minor leagues everybody's still here so that's that's what's going on plus the new additions here and we'll see how it goes you're probably thinking why isn't matt foster the closer probably because we're not going to have too many closing opportunities so i felt like let's just get matt foster as many opportunities as possible and this is currently what the team looks like. I might change it up, but yeah, I, I definitely could have gotten some more offensive players. But realistically, we're pretty limited with what we could get in the Rule 5 draft. So this is, I feel like it's its still a bad team and we're probably going to suck. But yeah, let's, let's see. Let's see what happens. All right, so we broke the 50 win mark. 52 wins. So improvements, improvements. That's all we want to see. I just need a lot more of an improvement. Were we the worst team in baseball? 52 wins. We were not. The Nationals. So we did take over the Nationals. There we go. We we overtook the Nationals, I should say. Not take over. Overtook. Awards. No awards this year, which is kind of a disappointment. But you know what? I'll take it. Who is this? Okay. Okay. Uh, sure. He, he looks pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. That, that actually looked like a pretty decent pitcher. Either way, I'm looking at some of these awards. Some interesting ones. And Nick Lofton, we did pick him, and he actually was pretty solid. I completely forgot he can play the infield too. Um, I believe he's part of the Royals system. Honestly, looks like he had a pretty solid season. 
So definitely a guy we need to kind of build around. Even though we only have three seasons left, we kind of need to speed up the process here. Who got sent down? As you can see, I did have to sign a couple pitchers. We were a little light. And Winder actually had a pretty good year. Ooh, I think we, we may have struck gold with someone like him. He did get sent down, but I think we may have struck gold with someone like him. So that's good to see. Perdomo. Ugh. Ah, yikes. Uh, Foster was solid. The, the whip's a little high, but we work with it. Gavin. Uh, not as good as he was last year. So that's unfortunate. Wood, a lot better. Berger, solid. Didn't need to use him. Norris, I moved him to the closer spot, and you could see it went a lot better. So this might be the guy for our closer spot. And then starters, it looks like we definitely need to get lucky. We need some starters. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, we need we need some starters for sure. What about the what what's the bench looking like? Anybody popping off? John Hicks is starting to regress, so we will need a new catcher. And I think that that's it. Um, did somebody get sent down? No. Okay. So wait, who's this guy? Oh, that was a starter. All right, perfect. Oh, uh, uh, Robertson improved. Actually, got better. I don't think he's gonna improve too much more. So our window with him is not that great. Telez was okay. He had 32 home runs though. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, Dickerson's kind of staying the same. So, okay. Melendez, a little bit of a down year compared to last year, but he's still improving. So I'm still I'm still happy with him being our first baseman. Amaya, eh. Key boom, okay. Okay. I like seeing that. Lofton, like I said, was third in the rookie of the year voting, so he could be someone that we can work with. Walner, eh. And then Stevenson. So realistically, we're kind of looking at Robertson, Telez, Melendez. So what is that? Three players, Keyboom like half, and then Lofton. So we've got like what four and a half players out of a nine-person lineup, and then our our pitching is like half. So we're looking at like maybe like half a lineup, half a team right now. Ooh, geez, the Blue Jays defeat the Braves. It looks like the Braves are just the team to beat right now, which I don't even know if that's going to be possible with what we're being given. Um, he actually had a little bit better of a year. I'm gonna pick up this option that I gave him. Dickerson, I feel like if we can get a good hitting outfielder, I think Dickerson off the bench could be nasty. So I'm gonna pick up this option as well. And Perdomo's not really improving that much more. So I'm actually just gonna let him walk. I feel like it, we might as well just try to pick up a different pitcher. Now I'm just gonna sign some players and let's get to the draft. Year three, what do we have? in front of us Langliers uh that it Keston okay anybody else Whitley's still available I do need a starter and uh those are some uh, some starters I could definitely be interested in I'm trying to see if there's like any position players maybe Wenzel maybe Wenzel um that guy I don't think I'm gonna go in on him but I think Caprillian's too good to pass up. Who was the other the other pitcher that I saw? It was Caprillian and Knack. I think I'm gonna be out, but Caprillian could be okay for like a season or two. I think that's that's pretty solid. I'm trying to see if there's any other pitchers that have like some decent per nines, but I yeah, I think Caprillian is just we need starters. It's it's a must. And I'm trying to see if there's any other names that I wanted. Bobby Dahlbeck potentially. Langlers, I feel like. Definitely needs a boost in overall based on how he performed this year. Keston, maybe is is Keston the move? I feel like let's get. Actually, did I did I need a pitcher in the bullpen? I don't think I did. I think I was actually fairly happy with our bullpen overall. I felt like this was, like this was an area. I feel like we're we're looking we're looking decent. Um, a starter was needed for sure, and then catcher. I think I think taking Shea Langliers is a must it one of the two can battle it they, they can battle it out for the spot but, but it's it's a must and then first base i think we're solid i think we're good there keston could be good to play second base for us could could actually be a smart pickup because he could help us out but i'm trying to see if there's anybody else wenzel okay maitan no anybody uh, this is this is looking kind of grim this is looking kind of grim. Maybe Kristen Stewart, 31 years old, probably could be like a season or two at best. Daza, I am out. Johan Rojas has no hitting ability. So like, 
I feel like I feel, I feel, I feel like Keston is like it, it's like falling in our laps where we just we need to pick Keston. I think that's I feel like that's like the only move. I guess we're taking Keston. Uh, Jody Barley. I think I took him in the first time we did this, and I'm 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 kind of in. I'm kind I'm kind of in. I think he could be an okay bench bat for us. And then I think I think offense is killing us. I think we need some more offense. I think pitching wise, I think we've we've done pretty well. Can Frank the Tank lead us to victory first season? He played 16 games this year. Who else do we have? The thing is like I I really don't have space for all these like first base players. And these two, they don't have secondary positions. Neither does Frank the Tank. But versus lefties, I feel like Telez doesn't really ah man. I feel like we got we gotta get some good hitters. We're missing that. Maybe Riley Bannon off the bench. Is there anybody else that like is because like there really there really aren't any good hitters. Like, and that's that's kind of what's killing us. We just we don't have good hitters on the team. So like what do we do? I think we take him maybe. And then do we take Frank the tank? Is that is that the move? And then we uh I I don't know. I feel like I feel like maybe maybe we're okay. Let's see. Starter one, two, three. I, I yeah, I still need starting pitching. I really do. And there's just no good starters. I think this is gonna be what's what's the downfall for us. No good starters. Like I'll take Glenn Otto, see what happens because our starters have been so bad. I feel like we can only improve. But like at the same time, I feel like we're we're just we're in trouble. I'll take him too. And then I think I'll leave it there. I think that's it. Maybe one more bat. Is that is that is that something smart to do? Hmm. Maybe one more bat. I did take. No, let's leave it. Let's leave it. There it is. Those are our picks. All right, season three. Let's do it. We've got a couple new pitchers. We'll see how it goes. I, I feel pretty good with the bullpen though. I feel like if we can hold a lead going into the bullpen, I feel like we might be able to close out the game. It's just can we hold a lead because our rotation is so garbage? And then offensively, I think we're taking steps in the right direction. I feel like. We've, we've got some players. We've got some players. I just don't know if they're good enough players. We're still ranked 30th, and we're actually ranked 30th in every single category. Previous seasons, at least we had like 27 defense, maybe a little bit of speed here. But yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, the only player that isn't in the team and is in AAA is Clark Schmidt and Bo Burrows and Walner and Bobby Bradley. So I shouldn't say the only player because there's four. So yeah. Um, but I definitely know that I will have to sign some pitchers to fill out the rest of the roster. So again, you see some 40 overalls, you know why. Let's do this season. All right, another small improvement, 54 wins. But again, we're still not, we're not making strides. Like, uh, I got two more years and I doubt we're even going to make the postseason at this point. It's looking rough. All right, so 54 games, we're pretty far off the wild card in this division. And we were the worst team in baseball. So at least we'll get the number one overall pick in the Rule 5 draft. So that's that's good to see. Pete Alonso with the Blue Jays. Oh, interesting. Got Shohei with the Blue Jays as well. Huh. Jeff Dell looks unbelievable. Look at that contact. Look at the fielding. Okay. Yeah. Why can't I just get like one, one player like that? Just, that would be that would be nice. Kristen Stewart actually was pretty decent. I just don't know how long we're gonna be able to keep him. But if he's looking like this, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be we'll fine with that. We'll be fine with at least one player. <sighs> all right. So Clark Schmidt didn't get called up at all. Oh, he did, and he actually was better. What was better? Not much, but was. Uh, Justin Dunn is is slowly improving, but the issue is it's not quick enough, and that's that's part of the issue. It's just like players are developing. But they're not really doing it. Uh, Caprillion, I moved him to a long relief spot. He was getting rocked. Rocked. And he's not really improving. So he might be a player that's like a one and done for us. Bo Burrows. We got Foster, who's great. 81 overall. Love to see it. Gavin is still pitching well. Berger is still pitching well. Winder. Love it. Mm, don't like seeing that. What else? Norris, as a, as a closer, he's doing his job. Like That's what I like to see. What about our starters? Any improvements uh, like that, that's not bad that like that's okay as like a four or five I think we can work with that as a four or five we can work with that I need some top of the rotation guys and we don't really have that that's our issue we don't we don't have anybody that can like just give us a lead and hold it uh Walner hate that hate that Langlears hate to see that Mangum gross 
Barley at least. Not even, not even there. Not even there is looking good. Uh, who got sent down? Melendez. Oh boy. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Well, let's let's take a look here. We've got the DH lineup. Kristen Stewart as a leadoff guy. I think we've got maybe another year or two with him. Solid. Robertson still fairly well. Doing fairly well. Love it. Telez regressing. So. He hits free agency this year. Probably going to let him hit free agency. Dickerson hits free agency this year. Yeah. Um, Maez. Okay. Small improvement. Key boom. Not as good as his previous season. Hate to see that. Lofton. Hate to see that. The power numbers did drop a little bit. We got. Uh, man. I feel like we got worse. Which. We, we were the last place team. So we kind of did get worse. But like. Man. Angels defeat the Padres in the World Series. I don't know what to do. We've got two years left. Like, how are we gonna how are we gonna turn this team around? Um, I definitely need to make sure we keep him. Like, there's just I'll give him a player option and hope that he stays. Um like I, I kind of have to take these players because like I don't know if we're gonna get better options. You know what I mean? So like I definitely need to take that. We're gonna let him go. We said that. I don't even know if it's worth keeping this guy. He's not really improving in areas that we need him to. So I think we let we let him go. Dickerson, we said we're gonna let go. Bobby Bradley's not really improving, so there's really no reason to keep him. Uh, we're, we're in some trouble. I, I really don't know what to do with this team. Uh, I, we, we've gotta bring everybody back. I can't really afford to lose players that are like helping us out. So let's see what we can do. All right, let's do this. Uh, we need we need some luck. Uh, we gotta We gotta find somebody. Castellanos. 76. Ooh, Contreras. How's he been? Not great. Okay, so I, 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 some of these guys would be great pickups, but at the same time, I gotta, I gotta look at the numbers. I gotta see if they really would be worth it. I guess Wenzel worth it. I don't. I, like I've been sleeping on him, but maybe it's time to bring him in. Maybe De Los Santos is gonna be solid. Ooh, okay. Taylor Widener, is he gonna be good for us? I also really need starters, and there just really isn't, like there just aren't that many good starters. Uh, Acuna's like stepbrother, I believe this is. Man, uh, boy, uh, like are there, like is Castellanos worth it? 34 years old, how's he been? Not great, not great at all. Like, but I feel like it could be worth just giving him a shot. You know, Clint Frazier, how's he been? really really limited appearances so is it worth trying to pick up someone like him uh i don't know this is uh this one's kind of tough this one is pretty tough I, ah, this is kind of like a make or break year so i think this is the year i'm gonna start i'm gonna start thinking about my players a little bit longer seeing what we can do but i i'll see you guys for the next season season four all right i think i've got my team where i want it to be yep all right perfect all right 26 Men on the roster, this is what we're rocking with. And you're probably thinking, all right, doesn't look too different. You're right, it doesn't. I I did take Contreras. I did I did take Contreras. I thought, you know what? It, it's probably going to be the same as what we've, we've been rocking with. So hopefully it's not. Hopefully we, we get a little bit lucky. Honestly, I just, I need to get lucky. And I haven't been getting lucky. So there's that. First righties, this is what we're working with. Ah, it, it could go really good or really, really badly. I feel like... I feel like maybe Castellanos has got to get in the lineup somehow. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not. I feel like versus lefties, that's probably where we're going to get the most out of him. And the, Yeah, that's the team. I, I I don't really... Ah, man, this is tough. Rule 5, honestly, has been pretty nerfed this year. I feel like that's, that's, the, main, that's the main spot. I feel like a lot of times, teams won't sign top prospects, and they'll end up in free agency. I noticed that happens quite a bit this year. But the rule five has been pretty, pretty good this year. Every once in a while, you'll see a player. But for the most part, I see them getting sent to free agency. I've noticed that that's kind of the big issue. So I, 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 need, to, I need to face a lot of lefties this year. If we face lefties, I think we'll be in business. But this is the team. We're currently... Oh, we don't have the worst pitching in baseball. Maybe, maybe we have a shot. Maybe. This is, we, we've got this year and next year. If we can crack the playoffs, that's a win. I don't care how it's done. If we if we had the actual playoff system in MLB the show where we have like half the league making the postseason, we might have a shot, but we don't. We've got to do it the normal way or the old school way. So see what happens.
all right we're, we're i mean we're we're making progress all right and at this rate we're gonna need like 15 years before we make the postseason but at least we're making progress the issue is it's it's just not good enough it really isn't um we're not last in the batting average which is cool uh it's been between us and the athlete or the, the nationals for the two worst teams in baseball and as you can see we're kind of we're we're fighting it out there but when we take a look at the awards again we're not going to have anybody I just know we're not. We might have like maybe a rookie of the year in the race, but we're, we're just not good enough. We're, we're really not. And we didn't even have a rookie of the year this year. So let's take a look. Let's let's see where things went wrong. This guy just sucks. He's just I was hoping maybe we could make him like a like just an OK pitcher. Not happening. Foster starting to regress, which, which sucks. It really does. Um, Gavin's been solid for us. He's starting to regress again. Sucks. Winder. Love it. Great. Keep it going. Wood's been fantastic for us. Norris has been fantastic for us. This is probably the worst year he's had, which sucks. Um, like the this year, yeah, that this year was bad, but for the most part, he's been really good for us. So like I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Justin Dunn, I will take that. He had like a two ERA as a long reliever. So realistically, he's probably my my long reliever moving forward. But I, I just don't have starters and this is what's killing me we don't have any good pitchers we have good bullpen we don't also really have that much offense like you can see castellanos versus lefties mainly wasn't that good langlers is starting to slowly work his way to becoming better Schwindel was very good versus lefties and kind of seems like that that was it our bench was pretty abysmal and then we take a look at this like stewart great like i'm really happy with this robertson has been pretty decent for us like 20 home runs previous years have been good this year he kind of fell off a little bit but then you look at the rest of the team and it's just non-existent so between having no offense and no starting pitching that that's that's a killer we're, we're not even like in a game because our pitching is so bad we're allowing so many runs like let's go take a look and see how many how many runs we're allowing we were 27th in runs allowed so like it's honestly it's it's not that that bad so how many runs did we put up this year it was low it, it was definitely low i remember that uh runs batted in we were the worst and like 28th is 636 and the pirates were 68 and 94 and we were 58 and 104 so like i i clearly we, we we need the we need the offense we need the offense i guess that's i guess that's the thing so i'm saying it's starting pitching but even the starting pitching is like somewhat keeping us in games it's just we're we're lacking on the rbis yeah our most rbis we had was what 63 Ugh. yeah okay so maybe we just we just really focus on the offense this year and see what happens final season can we do it ah i don't know if we can i really don't know if we can ah let's see what happens all right final rule five draft um yeah they're gonna show me all the eight potential players that i didn't add to the 40 man so if they get picked they get picked but let me let me get to the b potentials let me see what we've got going on here okay so um salmon oh oh no hitting though and i said I, I i gotta get that offense i really need the offense and doesn't look like there there really is anybody which is a big disappointment there's just no no offense max schrock i might take max schrock first righties honestly i think i think that's the move i feel like that's <laughs> i feel like it's a boring pick but it looks like he can hit the baseball a little bit there's a couple others too with c potential that might actually be decent and i feel like that's that's the move um Man, I wish like instead of 87 fielding, it was like 87 contact because I'd be all over this. And then some. I would, yeah. Like Derek Hall looks like he'd be decent too. Honestly, he's... Ooh, do I go... I think Schrock has got... Glass now? Oh! How did I miss... Go Get Glass now in the team. Just no one takes Schrock. No one takes Schrock. Perfect. All right. We're... This is, this is the one. This is the one. We got Schrock. We got Glass now. I'm glad I went through every single position because I would have missed. I would have missed that. Cole Irving. I feel like that's a that's somebody I had to take too. I feel like this. Are 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 we about to do this? I feel like this is just going way too well. Like this. Oh, are 
I also I also do need a reliever. Um, so that is something that I need to definitely keep an eye on. Is Will Crow the move here? I think we'll be okay like waiting on the the reliever. I gotta see what other position players I saw. Like Calhoun could be good. Let's see, let's see. I feel like I, I feel like that's that's pretty good right off the rip. Um Hmm, Franchi Cordero's there. No, thank you. So, all right. So, who did we miss out on that I potentially wanted? Derek Hall. So, we did miss out on Derek Hall, which is a bummer. But, like, I feel like we did. I, I feel like we've we've done pretty well there. I do want to add some offense. I definitely think that's that's a must. Um, Jaron Kendall doesn't look terrible. Um, I just don't know. Like, who is he getting? Maybe Walner. He'd replace Walner. Do need some power. I do need a lot of power. I feel like we're lacking some power on this team. Is, is like Willie Calhoun, is he the man? He's been pretty bad every time I get him. Heston Kierstead? Yes. And then maybe Willie Calhoun as well, because I know he can play second base if needed. I also do need a reliever. And I, when was the last time he pitched? It wasn't good. I'm not taking Kohei. F. Ross looks like he's like kind of regressing but like kind of going up as well rich rod no uh, i don't know like this guy actually doesn't look that terrible oh uh, i think i take will crow there i don't feel really good about it but like you know what i mean M maybe maybe that's the move starters i, I really want to get rid of him he's been so bad for us he's been so bad but like there's just nobody Ah, I feel like offense is more important. I, I feel like I got to do it. Let's get Willie Calhoun. And I think I leave it there unless I add a couple more. I'll show you. All right, final year. Final year. Let's let, let's let's talk about this team. So we've got class now. Fingers crossed he gives me like one good season. I need him to be like elite. He hasn't been elite for a few years. Don't like seeing that, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping. We got Cole Irvin. Normally like pretty consistent, like kind of a, like an under the radar pitcher I like to pick up. And you can kind of see the rest of the squad. Waddell, Waddle, whatever his name, he got relegated to AAA because he's been terrible. He's been terrible. Justin Dunn's been really good in this spot. I'm going to keep him here. And then we've got Crow, Gavin, Foster, Winder, or it could be Winder. And I've been saying Winder this whole time. Norris. And then we've got the Wood. He's been pretty solid for us too. Um, and then this is the team uh, versus lefties. We've, we've got some decent bats. Kind of interested to see how it plays out. But yeah, these are these are the guys we picked up. We've got Schrock. Calhoun, uh, Kendall I picked up, and then Kierstead. Kierstead, I actually had him in the lineup. So who got taken out? Uh, how did I have this? Did I have I had him in versus, oh, I had him in versus lefties. Did they take him out versus lefties? No, okay, so they kept it. All right, perfect. This is the team. We'll see what happens. Uh, it could go really good, or it can continue to be really, really bad, which is kind of what I expect. Let's see. It, it's the final year. I got to... Can we at least like make it a close race for the wild card? I feel like we could. Like this team is, I feel like it's definitely a lot better than what we've we've been working with. I feel like if if the starters do well and if our lineup can at least produce some runs, we don't have the most power. But if we can at least get a little bit going, I think I think we might be okay. I hope. We'll see. It's the final year. We gotta do something. So we did it. We are a wild card team, 85 and 77. So we were eight games back in the division and oh, one game separated us. And look how close that is. One, two, three. Ooh. How did we do that? That is insane. That's insane. All right, so no awards, which is which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, we'll take a look around the league, kind of see where everybody is kind of, of course, of course he, he had a really good year, and that was that was someone we looked at. We were considering picking him up, and uh, we, we did take Tyler Glass now instead, which I'm assuming he was part of the reason why we were so good. So, kind of looking at the rest of the teams around the league, you can see Harris, Olsen, Acuna, Riley. Okay, pretty solid team there. Soto on the Marlins with Blade, Jacob Berry. Okay, I have some pretty good teams here. Judge on the Mets. All right. Some interesting teams interesting teams indeed i mean we definitely need 
some luck. We're going to need some luck for sure. I mean, otherwise, I don't expect us to really make it out of a wild card spot, especially with our team. So what do other teams have? Like, I'm seeing, like, Andrew Vaughn, 97. He looks absolutely insane. But Vlad Jr.'s down to, like, a 94. He may be starting to regress at the, at the crazy age of 28. But, yeah, I feel like some interesting names. Some interesting names. And for sure, like, teams have definitely, like, moved around, like, quite a bit. Like, players have definitely moved around. So it's interesting to see, for sure. So, all right. I feel like maybe... Just maybe we have a chance. This team actually looks pretty good too. Holy cow. The Royals have put together a squad. But yeah, maybe maybe we have a chance. I feel like we've actually gotten pretty lucky, especially that last Rule 5 draft. Um, Yeah. But let's take a look. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Did he get sent down? He did. That means he was called up. Do I give him the shot? Do, do, I, do I give him the shot? I actually... Do I give him the shot? I don't know if I can. You know, he's been so bad, but he, he pitched what? How many innings this year and pitched fairly well? Is is it? Uh, it the whip's really high though. That's the thing that worries me. Or do we just, do we stick with bowling and like we kind of know what we're getting? <sighs> what do we do? Or do we just maybe, maybe rock the extra pitcher for the postseason? Was there, was there a bad offensive player? I guess that would also help uh, the answer. So let's take a look. We got Castellanos, who versus lefties only was very good. Langliers was the backup catcher. Okay. Twindell, again, only lefties, really solid. Okay. Heston Kierstead, not bad. And then Nick Lofton off the bench, not bad. So overall, I feel like I feel like we can't really get rid of any of these guys. You know, Schrock wasn't terrible. Again, on base percentage at 344, I'll take it. Stewart, not not bad. Not bad. Calhoun, not bad. 30 home runs, almost 100 RBIs. Melendez is starting to pop off a little bit. Kramer, Robertson still doing really well. Honestly, this is the best the team's performed. If anybody's going to get dropped, it's Amaya. But I can't really because I need the catcher. So, like, do I stick with what uh, Waddle or do I go with... Ooh, Clark Schmidt wasn't great. Clark Schmidt or Bolin? I guess. Ooh, I don't know. I really don't know what to do. Ah man, I feel like I'm look. I'm looking at this team and I'm going. Everybody did their job. Like, yeah, Daniel Norris, not great. Maybe Daniel Norris is that guy that we take out. Fifty-one saves is pretty impressive by Hunter Wood, by the way. Is is Daniel Norris the odd one out? And maybe instead we go with. Maybe like him here. We take out Norris just because he wasn't great. You know, we pick up, we go like this. And then like Norris gets removed. But then who takes Norris's spot? It's definitely not Bolin. Is it done? Maybe we do throw, I don't, oh, I feel like that's not a smart move either. I feel like we need that lefty that Norris was giving us. So I feel like Norris has got to be in there. Maybe just not as the setup guy. Oh, I feel like he just, he just, no, I can't, I can't, I can't have him. I can't have him. We got to go with Bolin. So Bolin's going to go here. We're going to go like that. And then we'll go something like this. Because when you take a look at the starters, we got Glass now, who was solid. Really good year. Irvin, solid year, even though he is regressing a little bit. Schmidt, it's his best year of the career that we've had him besides 2023. Contreras was okay. And then Bolin was all right as well. But you can see... When we have like somewhat of a decent team, we actually competed, which is awesome to see. You know, batting average, we were fourth. Batting average, we were fourth. Runs, we were in the top half. We were 11. We were almost top 10 in runs. Hits, we were fourth. Um, home runs, I would assume, were pretty low. We didn't really have the most power. We might actually, 23rd, yeah, pretty low. Runs batted in, we are, I'm assuming, close to like top 10. Yeah, we're 12. And if we take a look at pitching, ERA. Let's go take a look here. We were sixth in ERA. Okay. Saves. We were second. I mean, like, clearly we're doing we're doing well. So let's do it. Let's hop into it. Like, quick manage this one. Let's let's go straight into it. We're taking on the Rangers. Glasnow definitely taking the mound. 
And it comes down to this. Can we beat can we beat the Rangers in a, in a one game series? Is this possible? Uh, uh, okay. No, bummer. Bummer. That's that's unfortunate, but I feel like with Glasnow on the mound, we we've got a chance. The fly out, the single bases loaded for Seager, and we get out of that jam. That's big. We need the offense to wake up a little bit though. Come on. One run thanks to Kramer Robertson. Who would have thought Kramer Robertson is our like unsung hero of this entire rebuild and it's one nothing because of him sam huff does get them back equal Ugh. the walk oh no no are we is this where we fall apart let's go to let's go to dunn he's been good for us as i say that he did uh six to one it all it all fell apart it all fell apart i feel like uh we've lost it we've lost it uh, the double, if we can score like two this inning, I feel like we still have a chance. There's one. Okay. Can we get a little, little sack fly action? We do. Okay. So we did get that second run. We're still, we're still kicking. We're still kicking. Bases are low. I, what, oh, what? I forgot his nickname. What is his name? Hispanic Titanic. Is that, is that what it is? He, he played for Texas. I don't remember. Is that what, is that what was his nickname? Either way. If he can bring in a run here, we're, we're golden. A strikeout. Ugh. All right, so what do we have? A couple lefties coming up. Let's go to Norris. All right, uh, right, let's go Winder. We get out of it. All right, Robertson, start us off hot. No, they have they have Devin Williams. Are we... That's, that's, that's an unfortunate matchup for us. 100%. We're going to pitch hit. Bessia is a lefty, I believe, right? He is a lefty. So let's pinch hit. We've got Castellanos on the bench for this reason. Or do we go Frank the Tank? We go Castellanos for this. Flies out. And we, we are we are still alive. Christian Stewart does hit lefties fairly well. Or do we go Frank the Tank? I feel like we've, we've got to go with like our lefty hitters. Like I feel like that's our best bet. Fielder's choice and we're eliminated. Man. But we did it. We made the postseason with this team. Again, I mean, when you look at it, that's not a postseason team. But hey, when you look at what's happening in the postseason this season, anything's possible. Like Kevin Garnett said when he he screamed, it's like, anything is possible. I mean, clearly anything is possible. So we did it. This team didn't deserve to be in the postseason, but we did it. Rule five challenge like a half check mark because we didn't win the world series but at least we made the postseason and that's where it ends i hope you enjoyed it of course if you did hit that like button down below subscribe to the channel for new and enjoy the content and of course get in the comment section what video you want to see next there's a video for you i recommend it go check it out i think you'll really 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 enjoy it catch you all in the next one peace